In this video, we're going to practice writing equations of circles when given our information of the center and the radius. So let's first write down the standard form for a circle. And remember, that is the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals your radius squared. So remember, your center is represented by the hk values and you square your radius. So really, and I'm going to take my time for this one and show the steps, and then as we do the last few, we'll see why to make it a little bit easier. What we're going to do is fill in the information. We have x minus our h value. So I am subtracting a negative 1. So if I'm subtracting a negative, that means x plus 1 the quantity squared, and then I have plus y minus my k value. Well, my k value is 5, so I have y minus 5, the quantity squared, equals our radius squared. So 2 is our r, so I would square 2. So really, the equation is x plus 1, the quantity squared, plus y minus 5, the quantity squared, equals 4 because 2 squared is 4. And there is our equation. We can do the same thing here. We're going to have x minus our h value, which here, h is 0. So x minus 0 squared, plus our y minus our k value squared. And here, our k is 3. So I have y minus 3 equals my radius squared, so that equals 7 squared. Now, when you're subtracting 0, you don't ever write minus 0. So it doesn't change the value, so you're just left with x squared. Plus, you get y minus 3 squared equals 7 squared is 49. And there is the equation of the circle, represented by a center of 0, 3, and a radius of 7. Let's look at examples 3 and 4. So we notice in example 3, still have our h, still have our k represented by the center. But this time our radius is a fraction, which is not a big deal. So we have x minus a negative 8. So we have x plus 8 squared plus the quantity y minus k. So y minus 7 squared equals. So really, I'm squaring the fraction one half for this. So I write down the left side as is x plus 8 squared plus y minus 7 squared. Well, to square a fraction, you square the top and you square the bottom. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. So my final equation is x plus 8 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals 1 fourth. So it's not bad if you have a radius that is a fraction which leads into example four. My radius here is 0.25, convert that to a fraction. So what do we do? Our center here is radical two and three radical seven. So this looks like it'll be more complicated, but let's just see how more complicated it is. How much more complicated is it to just have a radical with the coordinates of your center? Because all you do is x minus your h. Well, here my h is radical two and square that. And all I do is y minus my k, so y minus 3 radical 7, and square that. So was it any more difficult to have radicals as your center? No, it looks more complicated, but you just plug them in the formula as is. And then you're going to square your radius, which is 1 fourth. So copy down the left side as is the quantity x minus radical 2 squared plus the quantity y minus 3 radical 7 squared equals square the top, square the numerator, square the denominator, 1 16th. And there are the equations represented by given the center and the radius of these for it. So it's very simple to do. You plug in your h, you plug in your k, you plug in your r, you just simplify from there. 